What's up guys, an average recon here. In this video, I'm going to show you my first attempt at coding the realistic car. Uh, so I built a small little map uh, track and I attempted <laughs> to code it. So here is the first try. Like the results of the first try. As you can see, it works kind of well, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, currently, the method I use does not work great, but as you can see, I did make it able, I made it be able to uh, roll over bumps. That was a close one there. So it can rotate. It's not like stuck to one uh, rotation. Oh, I, I lagged there. But unfortunately, the way I did it, uh, <laughs> I put a, I like glued a person a character to the back of it and I'm just controlling him but I don't <laughs> I, I don't like it because like, if you go too fast and hit a bump sometimes it spazzes out and, and I really it's just not good but it does work sort of I did that on purpose I, I swear <laughs> sort of now now I'm going to show you the code and like explain why the numbers are there in the three logic cubes. So first I think I'm going to show you the person. Yeah, yeah, if I can zoom in properly. I'm going to show you the uh, code inside the player or the sorry, the character. So when you're holding S and then A, it rotates you or D, and when you're holding W and A or D it rotates you. If you're holding S it rotates you the opposite way than if you're holding W because if you're going backwards it you, you turn the opposite you turn the opposite way no you need to be turning the opposite way for it to work properly anyway uh, how the rotation works so this is the front uh, this might take a while to explain but basically the closer the f the closer the front gets to the original distance the slower it's going to rotate. That's what this code does. I, I can't explain it any other way. If, if you want to really like pause the video and look at it and try to understand it, it would actually make sense. But yeah. Uh, and the rolling, this is the, uh, there's yaw, there's, th this is the pitch. This is the pitch because it's uh, the front. On either side, that would be roll. And it's basically the same code, only only uh, roll. So, right, when the hit distance, when the original distance, the right side was from the ground, is, is less than the current, it would keep rolling until it reaches the original distance. It, it's hard to explain, but it works, as you saw. It, it does work. Now, I want to put this code like throughout the whole car, not just the front and the left and the right. I also want to use it in the back. So that I'm basically making my own character instead of using what's already there. So in my next try, I'm going to replace the, uh, the character that I'm clicking on with another logic cube. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my first attempt. I know it's not great, but it will get better. If you want to keep watching, you'll actually, uh, I'm going to implement tracks, like, uh, oh my gosh, like tire, tire tracks, that's what it's called. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys later. Uh, enjoy the, <laughs> enjoy me coding tire tracks into the car. It should be at like four times speed. Alright, see ya.